Hey YouTube, it's London Andrea and I'm here because I want to show you guys how I do my braid pattern for um, my shorter wigs. So like if you have a pixie wig, you know I love my pixie wigs. If you got a short curly wig or do you just want an extra flat wig and soft, I'm here to show you how I do my wig patterns. A few things you'll need. You will need some type of... Um, hair moisturizer or some type of um, something to moisturize your hair while it's in the protective style having your hair raised up with something over it your hair has to be moisturized I love my growth oil oh and what I have is I have Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie with Protein and Neem Oil it's for thick and curly hair and I've been using this for a minute um, I have my Wild Growth Hair Oil y'all know this is my go to you will need a comb with some wide teeth to detangle. You will need a comb that you can um, part your hair with. And you will need some duck clips or something to separate your hair and some type of scrunchie. I got rubber bands. You will also need needle and thread and you'll find out why later. And you will need scissors, of course, to cut the needle and thread. So we start by detangling. Part your hair in sections. Detangle. Some people like to do to use water for this part. I prefer not to, just because I don't want my hair to be wet while I'm trying to detangle. Okay, so I'm just gonna start with the detangle. Of course you're gonna get some shedding. I got a lot of shedding because my hair, if y'all can see that, that's a lot. My hair was in a braid out and before the braid out, it was in a more wig braid. So I haven't washed my hair or combed it out at all to get the shedding that was left over from. So from here, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna separate my hair into sections and I always wanna have a middle part. Of course I got some dandruff because I've gone style after style after style. And remember these braids are under your wig so they don't have to be beautiful. They just have to be effective. So I'm going to part down my hair all the way to the back. You see? Now I'm going to put it in two separate ponytails. I do it this way because it's just more convenient for me. I don't know. I'm just a bit weird. If this doesn't work for you, come up with your own way. But this can just be kind of like a guide. There you go. You done. No, but um... I always have um, what would be considered, oh, let me start, let me start like this. I always have what would be considered like a anchor braid or um, a base braid in the bottom because I don't want any bulkiness in the back of my head or any lumps in the back of my head because I'm wearing a short wig, like a 27 piece wig. So thank you, if you have a 27 piece, you do not want your back to be all lumped up. So I always do a braid across when I do my wig braids, so here we go.
what you're witnessing is me and my struggle from braiding my hair. Altogether, it took about two hours. That's my thread that I showed before in the video. I am going to thread my needle and I'm going to sew up the portion of my hair that's left down hanging, the braided part that's loose. I'm going to sew it up into the back of my hair to make it more flat instead of just having that lingering braid hanging down. She was pushing love. Are we too? 